What's going on? This is Master Coach Aaron Guyette. Number seven, the seventh benefit for battle ropes. So there's a long list of them. Um, there's a few uh, downfalls or shortfalls that uh, the battle ropes have, but mo mostly and mainly it's gonna be benefits. So one of those benefits is that it increases our grip strength dynamically. So, and what I mean by that is, so if I'm, if I'm trying to get a strong grip, let's say I'm a grappler or I do judo or I need my grip in football or some sort of sport where I, I tackle or have to hold on to somebody or something, even sailing. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, uh, rowing, whatever it might be. What we tend to do is we tend to train our grip just with this bar crush style grip where I just wrap around and just get as much as I can on that tool to move that tool up and down or forward and back or side to side or whatever it might be. Whereas the rope, I have to have a living grip and be alive in my grip, especially as I change from exercise to exercise, change the way the ropes are being moved, whatever that might be, right? I have to have this living grip. And if I wanna last a long period of time, let's say I'm doing ropes for time for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right? If I'm doing it for a long time and I don't have a dynamic living grip with a dynamic tool, right, that I'm trying to move the entire time, I'm not going to be able to hold on to this. At some point, these ropes are going to come out of my hands because my grip is going to be the weak point. Even if cardiovascularly, I'm, I'm there, right, physiologically, uh, from every other standpoint, muscularly, uh, through my system, right? Aerobically, I'm on, I can, I can do it. If I have too much fatigue, too much lactic buildup in my grip and grip strength, I am not gonna be able to continue. So the rope does an incredible job of training dynamic grip strength. So it's not just crush, but you're having to move, having a living grip and, and having that dexterity in your grip while still maintaining enough strength to hold on to that rope while you continue to work it, even in the even in your power sets where you're going as explosive as possible, your strength sets where you're trying to bring your muscular mus musculature to its fatigue point, or especially in that endurance, right? The grip tends to be one of the main things that goes right. If you if you've got good heart, if you've got good lungs, if you've got good um, muscles to move those waves, but you don't have a good grip, you're going to lose it, right? So this trains it better than anything that I know of. Next one, best one.